I now call upon our panelists, Abhinav, Ria, Samarth, and Ahana, who will engage the group in a lively conversation. Requesting the other members of the choir, Ms. Jessica, Mr. Ryan, and Ms. Rashila, to join us on stage. Good afternoon to everyone here. On behalf of all of us seated here, we once again welcome you to our school. It gives us immense pleasure to be seated here with you. I'm Abhinav, this is Ria, that is Samarth, and that is Ahana. Hi. <laughs> My question to all of you is, you've come a long way from a small choir group in Shillong to where you are today. Did you, at any point of time, at the conception of this group, think that you will achieve such a level? Who wants to go with that? Let someone talk. Yeah, you, you go ahead. I think let Ryan, the youngest of the member. Hello, everyone. I'm the youngest member of the choir, and I sing bass. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, well, I, I'm the last member, actually, to, uh, to join the choir. It was in 2009, I, and uh, the choir for, was formed in 2001, I believe. Right. And, uh, and it's been, uh, you know, uh, it, I think it started with the first batch of the choir, and people were coming in and out. So... Uh, this is the, the new batch, the one that you see on the, on the picture, is the new choir which won India's Got Talent. This is the batch that won India's Got Talent. There was a previous batch before us. So, um, well, uh, and coming to the question, we didn't have any ambition in the beginning. It was, just, it was just a group of singers. When we started this journey, it was just... It was just singing in a, in a church or going to a friend's place and just bringing in, uh, you know, uh, joyful times and memories to, uh, fam to families that we know. Yeah. So um, then we heard, uh, you know, we're, and then we, 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 we do shows for uh, the president of India, uh, Christmas shows, and that's, what, that's, that's about it. Until we got a phone call from uh, India's hotel the producers, and... I, I mean, from there, we, it, there's, a, there's a long story to it, so I, I, yeah, I so don't know where the, to start. The thing is that the choir actually, to be very honest, didn't want to do India's Got Talent. We just wanted to leave, lead a very simple life and sing when we were supposed to sing, but we just love to lead a simple life together. And we have our manager here, who was the one who was pestered by, I think, 30, 40 phone calls over a span of a few days, telling him, please come, please come. And we said, no, we don't want to come. No, we don't want to come. No, we don't want to come. And uh, one thing led to another. Eventually, we said, okay, fine, we'll go. We, we didn't even go for the first auditions. We went for the, for the, fine, uh, for the, for the other round in, in Calcutta. And uh, what, what they heard was like, like, what you, well, like what he said just now. What the people hear when the choir sings, is something very simple, something that is very wholesome. You know, you get that effect of, of sitting by the fireside and when, when, you know, when your grandfather or your father tells you stories and you just sit there and you just feel like you're at home, that is what we, we want you to, to feel when you're in a Shilong Chimba Choir concert, like you're at home. And then that is actually what people love. And we've stuck to our, our identity. Many a time people tell us to do all kinds of Naughty things, but we don't. We want, to, we want to stick to that group, which remains something very simple. But yeah, to answer your question, no, we never expected it to grow this big, in a nutshell. So yeah. Thank you, sir. That was very interesting. Was it? <laughs> My next question to you is, the concept of choir is alien to India, but your group chose this unconventional method and were very successful. What inspired you to choose choir style of music? What made you come up with the idea? So not me. Uh, this is our director, of course. Uh, so the word choir, like I said again, choir is very church-oriented. We were just talking in the car just now. I said we have thought over and over again over these years that we'll change the name because Shillong Chamber Choir, when you use the word choir, it sounds you know, so serious. But I'm telling you, we're not that serious. We're actually a bit quite fun. Um, but the, the concept of choir is something that our, uh, you know, our director has broken that mold of choir. What is choir? Choir is a group of singers. 
And we've broken that mold by doing Queen, by doing Coldplay, by doing Adele, you know, stuff which you can identify with, uh, by doing all kinds of different genres of music. And we are still acquire a group of singers, but that have dared to venture somewhere else. Because if you just stick to only things like church music, then you just become uh, uh, popular in that particular field. But we decided to break the mold. We decided to, do, to think out of the box. And that is something that I feel, as young people, you should definitely do. And that is think outside the box. Cliched is boring. And, well, that is, to, to answer your question, um, uh, that's what we do. <laughs> Thank Something you, sir. Yeah. That was very interesting. Was it? <laughs> My question is, how do you complement each other? Have there been replacements over the years among the choir members? Good and question. what happens when someone needs to leave the group? Good question. Uh, how do we complement each other? Well, we don't really complement each other. We get that a lot from everybody else. Uh, you know, we criticize each other a lot yeah, more. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So, uh, we more, we, 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 because, because it, it's so important to have people to tell you the truth, to surround yourself with honest people. I'm telling you this in this day and age, surround yourself with good people. Surround yourself with honest people. And that is what uh, the choir is. So compliments, well, here and there, bits and pieces, once or twice a year maybe. Uh, but in terms of uh, when someone wants to leave the group, it's, uh, it, in the past 12 years, there's been one person who's left. And that's it. You know, so uh, it's, 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 but it's just that we've, we've stuck together over all these years. Yeah. Thank and you. We've, yeah. I think we've stuck together because we're more like, we've grown together. We, we know each other so well. I mean, for me personally, it's an emotional, I feel so emotional if I have to think that I have to leave the group. So it's not just singing anymore, you know, they've become my family. So th I, this, is what, this is what music, th they say that music is a universal language and it really brings together people from, you may be from different parts of the world, you may come from different backgrounds, but this is a common language at heart, it speaks right to the heart, so a heart to heart language. Thank you, sir and ma'am. Uh, my you. next question to you all is, mm -hmm. Shillong is a hub of rock and pop bands in Northeast India. Mm -hmm. It has a vibrant music sense with many local artists forming their own bands and performing all over the world. Mm -hmm. Amidst such a culture emerges the Shillong Chamber Choir, mm -hmm. which deviates from the norm and sings choir music. What is the advantage of choir music over solo or band music? Do you want to live life on your own or do you want to live life with friends? Well, that's the difference between solo singing and being in a choir. It, but at the same time, it's not easy to do what we do. Um, it's not easy. You've seen bands, most bands come and then break up. Yeah. You know, that is the reality of life. And many, uh, w one thing that, that makes the choir what it is today, it's the music, of course, but the fact that there's the same people for the past 12 years, somebody asks, how do we do it? How do you stick together? Do you not fight? That's the qu I hope no one's asking that question. That's a very important question. How do we not fight? Well, we fight all the time. We fight all the time. To be, <laughs> when I say fight all the time, I don't mean that, like, you know, it gets into a... <laughs> Full, full on MMA fight, no, or, or like WWE, not, not that, I'm talking about honest disagreements with one another, yeah, that guy was, they're already starting to punch one another over there, principal is looking back, no, don't, don't, don't do that, no, but it's, it's so important to be with, with like-minded people, it's so important not to take things personally, like someone commented about humility, to take things, uh, you know, that will, that will help you improve, and um, in, in uh, what, what you like you're saying, what differs from the solo singing to the to, to choir singing, it's actually this. It's a certain harmony. Now, who knows what harmonies are? Who's, who's ever sung in a choir that hand came up so fast? There. Who knows what harmonies are? Harmonies in music. Yeah. Harmonies in music? Yeah. You, you, you raised your hand just now. He put it back down. Were you scratching your head? Okay. Yeah, you, you raised your hand. You know what harmonies in music is? Sorry? You play guitar. Okay, so even in a chord, you know, even in a chord, there are different notes in a chord, right? 
So a solo singer can't do that. A solo singer can't do that. Poor guy, don't laugh at him. Come on, he was bold enough to raise his hand. Now this is, see, you don't do this. Someone, when someone has dared to do something, rejoice with him. Say, that was bold. Okay? Don't laugh at him. Poor guy. Uh, so in, in harmonies or in a choir, there are chords. So each singer, this soprano, alto, tenor, bass. So you sing each, so instead of singing just one line, one melody, there are four different melodies going on or four different harmonies going on. So that's also one difference in terms of musically speaking, which makes the difference between solo singing and uh, singing in a choir. Yeah. Right, thank you so much, sir. So, and also you have choir singing in a choir, uh, solo singing in a choir. So that's also there. So it's a whole variety of stuff. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. My next question to you all is, music in 2001, the year you started, was a different style than what it is today. Have you seen a change in, tre in the trends of emerging talents and versatility in singers? How do you modify your performances based on changing trends? Should I take that? Um, trends? Oh gosh, everybody wants, to, if you look at, uh, I think reality TV shows are the most obvious way in thinking of, uh, in terms of looking as to what people want to achieve. And if you, if you look, everybody wants to sound like Whitney Houston. Everybody wants to sound like Adele. Everybody wants to sound like, uh, you know, th those, those fantastic singers. But what has made the choir unique is that we've stuck to our identity. That's so important. All of you here in this room, all of you here in this school, whoever you meet, has their own identity. Don't ever be a copycat. That was actually my problem in the beginning. I was so good at copying everybody else that I didn't even know what I sounded like. And then I had to eventually find my own voice. So th that is, you know, to stick to your identity. Don't get blown by the wind of popularity and uh, whatever the world is running after. No, stick to your identity and you will have a sound. Okay? So uh, that is, yeah. Uh, well, Thank you. We, we, we do try and sing, you know, the hip songs and all that. So we do collaborations of, uh, like he was saying, Bruno Mars and things like that. But what always sells out is the old stuff. <laughs> in a funny way. The old Bollywood tunes that everybody can relate to that has been, you know, gelled together with some English song. But that always works more than the um, new songs, interestingly. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. My next question to you all is, today in the Smart Campus, we have nearly 40 studios and labs specifically designed to give well-rounded education to students. Would you like to share with the students your thoughts on skill-based education and how it will help them? What did you say, skill-based? Uh, skill-based education. How does uh, music help with skill-based education? Okay. Please share with the students. One instrument uh, I would suggest, and this is also to, to faculty, that uh, the children should really pick up, and it's proven, scientifically proven, that in particular, playing the piano is something that will accelerate the brain in learning, especially at a young age. It will, it is some, because you, you are using your 10 fingers, you are using your feet, you are using your eyes, there's a hand-eye coordination that is going on. It really develops the brain in a spectacular way. And that is music. That is, that is music for you, of course, and singing, anything to do with the arts, in, in, uh, you know, for that matter, it's so important. And when you say 40 studios, that's crazy. That's, I mean, you guys are lucky. You guys are fortunate. Please be grateful. When you go back home, tell mommy and daddy, thank you so much for putting me into this school. Really, that, you guys are so privileged. And make the most of it. Make the most of it in, at, at your young age. No, and of course, music plays a big, big role, in, uh, especially in the formative years of developing a child. Definitely. Thank you so much, yeah. sir. Thank you. We have almost the entire choir sitting in front of us. How can we let you go without you singing something for us? No, that's the problem. The whole choir is not here. <laughs> yeah. uh, to sing something. Yeah, I'm sure the audience is also waiting eagerly to listen to you. Okay. So, so that's it with the questions? Uh, are they...
What do we sing? What do we sing? What I Okay. Um, what 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 kind of songs? Well, I, I shouldn't be asking that question. No, wrong question to ask you guys. Um, okay, listen. Come tomorrow. Okay, <laughs> to to the Astral Theatre. We'll be singing for about two hours. All kinds of music. But today, I will sing. Uh, have you heard of an artist called Josh Groban? Well, to those who said yes. No. Okay. Uh, okay, it's a very it's a very simple song. Since since the whole choir is not here, um uh, quite a few of them have um, have fallen have fallen ill actually, so you know, we have to keep focus for tomorrow's show. Um I will sing a very uh, simple song by by an artist called Josh Groban. And uh, the song is called You Raise Me Up. You've heard of the song? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Your principal is, oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. What? You'll, you'll play it with that? Okay, so he's going to plug in the, the laptop. Should we ask, do you guys want to ask any questions in the meantime? Yes, but quiet, all this talking and all that. I, by the way, I was a prefect in school, huh? So, <laughs> I, I, I know how to keep you guys quiet. Okay, uh, th that hand there first, yeah. Respect the question, keep quiet, yeah. <laughs> How did we guys meet? In a cafe. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, it, it, was, it, was all, it was all very, very organic. You know, um, some came to just sit and meet people. Uh, I, I, good question, but I don't have an answer because... You'll have to come all the way to Shillong. Yeah, you have to come to Shillong us. to understand how we met. Everybody's got their own story. Yeah, yeah we You'll all have, have to a sit with <laughs> us for five hours for that. <laughs> Who finds this guy's voice like really amazing? <laughs> yeah, thought as much, thought as much. And he's, and he's only ten. No, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Yeah. Okay. Uh, quiet. Okay. I, I told you, I know how to... Okay, yeah, you, you, the, the studious guy that with specs. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay, yeah, tell me. Quiet, come on, guys. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Good question. How do you feel before a performance? That's a very good question. How d you must be all feeling nervous if you have to go before, you know, before an audience and sing. Right? So, see, uh, let me tell you one thing. Let me tell you one thing. The day you stop feeling nervous is the day something is not right. Okay? To feel a certain sense of nerves is a good thing. That means, like that guy said, you're not overconfident. Okay, the m moment you start feeling, ah, I can do this, I can do this, I can just win them over with a snap of my finger, that means you're going to fall flat on your face, it's going to be as boring as, hmm, okay, it's going to be boring. But how do you overcome that? Practice, my friend, where are you? Practice, practice, practice. That is the most important thing in order for you not to crumble on stage. The more you do something, like especially in a rehearsal, you know, I was just watching, who knows of the footballer Zlatan Ibrahimovic? Oh, everybody. Yeah, so, let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you something. I asked for a show of hands. Okay, so let me tell you something, what he said, and he's one of the best forwards, arguably, ever to play football. He said, rehearse or practice as though you were actually playing in a match. So for me, it would be rehearse when no one is even seeing you. Rehearse like you were performing before 10,000 people. And then I'm telling you that stage fright will disappear. Does that answer your question? It is what you do behind, it's what you do the days leading up that makes the difference on that particular day. 
Don't think that, oh, rehearsal and this, all that, you know, I'll just play it simple. No. Give your 110% in the rehearsal, in practice, while studying, and then when the time comes to actually perform, you will perform. That is a guarantee I'm giving you. And that is how you overcome that particular sense of nerves. Okay? I hope that answers your question. Yes, there's so many hands coming up. Yeah. When did I start to think? Before I was born. Oh, together? <laughs> Together, uh, 2006 is when the, when the choir came together, 2006. So again, it's a very difficult question to answer because we, we didn't really think, you know, we are going to conquer the world, no. Uh, yeah, so it just, just, just happened, it just came together, like-minded people who love music, who want to work with one another, that's how it happened. Yeah. Okay, guys, come on. Yeah. Uh-huh. How do you feel after the performance? Oh, I'm loving these questions. So realistic. How do you feel after the performance? Now, if it's gone well, if it's gone well, what did I say? What happens after something has gone well? What? Pride. Oh, you guys have been listening, haven't you? That is the biggest enemy that you'll have to face. You will have to say no. And what is the question you ask after it has gone well? <laughs> Oh, you guys, are, this is amazing. Exactly. Was it perfect? And when you look back in your, in, in your mind's eye, you know, when you look back in retrospect and you see, was it perfect? Oh, you will realize it was far from perfect. And be honest with yourselves about that. Okay, so that's when things have gone well. When things have gone bad, when things have gone bad, now that is... What do we do when things have gone bad? <laughs> what do we do? Where do we point the finger? Where do we point the finger? Ourselves. Exactly. When things have gone, it's so easy. Yes, they will become, you know, we, we will want to say, okay, no, it was because of him. I'm telling you, the easiest person to work with is yourself. All right, everything around you will change. Oh, it might not change, but at least you can change. Okay, so that's one way of how to... I hope that answers your question. Yeah, it does? Okay, great. Anybody else? Are we fine with time? I don't know. Everybody seems to have so many questions, ma'am. We start the singing, right? Yeah, okay. What, what song we... Them? Okay. I wish the choir was here. I really wish the choir was here. But uh, for another time, we'll be coming back to Singapore uh, on and on. And maybe... But uh, ma'am, you, you like this song? Yes. <laughs> so this is dedicated to all of you. It's, uh, it's a song called You Raise Me Up. And you will find that one reason that will lift you up in life. And always be grateful to that. It can be your parents. It can be anything. It can be music even. It can be a spiritual experience. And uh, identify with that. So this is a song called You Raise Me Up. And after that, even though we don't have the Shillong Shemu Choir with us, not the full choir, but we're going to have all of you join us in a song. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to teach you that song. Not now, after I sing. <laughs> okay, so this is You Raise Me Up. Troubles come and my heart burden be when I am 
were still and waiting in the silence until you come and sit a while with me. You raise me up so I can stand on mountains. You raise me up to walk on stormy seas. I am strong when I am on your shoulders. You raise me up to more than I can be. stand on mountains you raise me up to walk on stormy seas and I am strong when I am on your shoulders you raise me up to more than I can be me up so I can stand on mountains. You raise me up to walk on stormy seas. And I am strong when I am on your shoulders. You raise me up to more than I can be. Raise me up so I can stand on mountains. You raise me up to walk on stormy seas. And I am strong when I am on your shoulders. You raise me up to more than I can be. You raise me up to more than I can be. Thank you. Now I'm going to go back to the, to, to the car and what question am I going to ask? <laughs> Absolutely. Was it perfect? <laughs> no, no. Oh gosh, no, I didn't ask you that question. I'm asking myself. And now for all of you to sing along with us. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Come, come. <laughs> okay, guys. Okay. Um... What song? What song? What song? What song? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, no, 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 no. <laughs> you guys know we are the champions by Queen? 
Wait, 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 wait. We are the champions, my friends. And we'll keep on fighting to the end. No? Okay. But try this. We are the champions. We are the champions. No time for losers. Cause we are the champions of the world. No, that was just me showing off. Now forget it. But is there, is there any way that you can put the lyrics up here? I'm sure this must be through a, through a computer. Because th th this song, I feel, is very apt. Or any other song. Wait, can I have a show of hands? Yes. The man who asked me what to do after the show. Yeah. Sorry? Believer. <laughs> no, no. Okay, no, no, no. Uh, is it possible? Okay, 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 wait, 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 wait. Hmm? You know the song, right? Okay, I want you to do this, all right? Do this. Okay, do, wait, 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 no, wait, 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 wait. Not yet, not yet. Wait, wait. In, together, 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 all right? L look at me first, look at me first, okay? It's this. We will, we will rock you. Come on, sing along with us. We will, we will rock you. Come on. We will, we will rock you. Clap along. We will, we will rock you. Everybody, just blow the roof. We will, we will rock you. Two more times. We will, we will rock you. I want to see you sing along. We will, we will rock you. Yeah, that's it. We will, we will rock you. The end. That's it. Well done, guys. <laughs> we, we are the champions. We are the champions. Come on. <coughs> ding a ding dong dong. We are the champions. Crazy frog. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> okay. Hey, that was fun. That was, you know, we've never done that before. That was fun. Okay, no, 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 wait, 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 wait a second. Are we? Shh. Yeah, uh, we are the champions by Queen. Can we have we are the champions by Queen, please? Ah, there we go. Okay, so. I've always wanted to do this, you know, stand before a board and point at something. Uh, these are the lyrics, all right? We are the champions, my friends. And we'll keep on fighting till the end. You know the problem with a lot of people is they fight, but they never fight till the end. They give up halfway. And that's majority of the human population. Um, we are the champions. We are the champions. No time for losers. Okay. Now, listen, listen, listen. Let's try this together. Okay. This is the power of unity. With one voice. With one voice, you can get only that far. But if all of you are singing that one tune together, it will be mind-blowing. And that is a lesson for life. It can make so much of a difference. Okay, let's go. We are the champions, my friends. We will keep on fighting to the end. That's it. Two, go. We are the champions. We are the champions. No time for losers, cause we are the champions of the 
world once more. We are the champions, my friends. There we go. And we'll keep on fighting to the end. We are the champions. We are the champions. No time for losers, cause we are the champions of the world. Thank you so much. Thank you for having us. It, it's been an absolute delight. And I hope with a few lessons that we were able to teach you, that that will help you in life. Was it perfect? Pride comes before destruction. Oh, you know, all those little, little things. Taking, good, uh, take, taking criticism from other people so that you can move forward. Thank you. What a lovely bunch of kids you've been. Thank you so much, ma'am, for having us. Thank you, the faculty. And...